What's up lords and ladies? Welcome back to another video on this channel. So in today's video, I rescued a leopard gecko. Now, as you can see, it is in rough shape. It is underweight. It was poorly taken care of. The condition it was in was just bad. The setup was completely dirty. There was poop on the corner and just piles of it, which indicated they weren't cleaning it frequently and properly. So I stumbled across this leopard gecko on Kijiji, which happens to be a site where you could put up used things, sort of like Craigslist, um, as well as other sites that you guys may have in your country but here in Canada we have Kijiji and that's where people normally put things up for sale now they do have an animal section and normally the animals there are properly taken care of but here now and then you stumble across reptiles that are just poorly taken care of and personally I was looking for accessories for my reptiles I own different kinds of reptiles as you may already know but I stumbled across this leopard gecko and I was like I need to rescue this um, it was just poorly taken care of and maybe I slowly start to take in reptiles that way I could take in and also rehome so my whole goal behind getting this leopard gecko is to help some of you guys out there in caring for leopard geckos I personally owned leopard geckos in the past and I know so much about them and I still have enclosures and everything for them so I thought it would just be perfect to rescue one and take it in and get it back to health and either keep it as an ambassador um, you know here in my reptile family or Put it up for adoption um, for some of you guys out there who are looking into getting a leopard gecko so i am going to be posting a lot about the whole journey of getting it back to health um you know if it needs medication if it needs assisting or if it just needs some love and attention but right now what we're going to be doing is taking a closer look of this leopard gecko and seeing what you guys think as well as seeing what i could find because right now all i know about it is that it is underweight so let's take a closer look and get started with this video let's go okay so here is the leopard gecko now taking a look of this yeah he or she definitely looks a little bit stressed out you could see how it's kind of lifting up the tail as well as Speaking about the tail, it is really underweight. Um, leopard geckos normally store their fats um, in their tail section. And even though this leopard gecko is really cute and definitely looks a lot more alert than when I first got it, um, it is definitely underweight. And it might even have a little bit of you know, problems with its growth. I don't know the age of it. I'm gonna assume that it is fully grown even though it looks very small <laughs> just looking at the camera but let me know in the comment section down below what we should name it you know to begin with but based off just the way it's behaving it doesn't seem like we're gonna have too much of an issue now I'm gonna place some you know paper towel all right buddy so I place some paper towel down that way it could have a little bit more traction but yeah he definitely looks stressed out the way it's wiggling its tail it doesn't seem like the previous owners um, may have you know handled it frequently it definitely didn't look like they were caring for it much um yeah it's like trying to bite me it's not happy at all so what i'm going to be doing is seeing if it even wants to eat which i highly doubt it seems very high alert and stressed out but it's definitely not been eating. So, oh, I think that giving it some food right now wouldn't be too much of an issue. Yep, this poor guy, man. It's really sad to make, you know, see reptiles that are such beautiful animals uh, just go through things like this. But I'm definitely gonna give it a good home and feed it. That way it could get back its uh, stored fat, get back to health. But this definitely looks and reminds me of my old leopard gecko. 
So it was one of those things where I came across it and I was like, yeah, I think I, I need to step in and get it. So I just checked and it is a girl. And even though it's super thin, uh, it could be a lot worse, believe it or not. So I do believe this leopard gecko is going to bounce back. So what I'm gonna do next is try to see if it wants some water, then I'll place it inside of the enclosure and just uh, leave it and let it settle in and then slowly try to feed it and see how else it responds to that. Cause right now it definitely looks a lot stressed, but I recently just got it um, just literally right now. And I really just wanted to see how it basically is. It looks like it has all its toes. It may be missing one of them, what it looks like, or two of them, or at least the tips of them. Um, but, you know, at least it ate one superworm. I know that if it's eating under these conditions with like not being inside of its enclosure, uh, a little bit stressed out, then I do know that it should be eating perfectly fine later on. But what I'm gonna be doing now is giving it some water because I don't know if it even drank water. When was the last time it drank water? So let's go give this leopard gecko some water. Hey buddy, so I'm just gonna drop some water inside of this container um, and wet the paper towel. Uh, this was the container that I got her in. So hopefully we could get her drinking some water. Sorry girl. Normally, I would just let them be, but as you could see, this poor thing, like she is thirsty. She's definitely not had water in who knows how long. Um, you know, leopard geckos, like I said, normally are shy creatures, and this girl is just coming to me for water. Uh, man, that's sad. But at least she's in my hands, and I could now... Uh, do the proper steps to take care of her and definitely give her a lot more love and attention but yeah she's definitely thirsty so i'm gonna probably get a syringe and see if she wants to drink from that all right girl we got a syringe we're just gonna place some droplets right on her face area and yeah immediately she started to just like lick at it yep <laughs> Yep, she is definitely thirsty because, you know, to all my leopard geckos owners out there, I, you know, I've owned leopard geckos in the past, and even though you can't interact with them and most of them are pretty well tamed, um, it's sometimes hard, you know, to get them to eat from your hand and also drink from, you know, a syringe like this. So this girl, she just doesn't care. She just wants water. Who knows how long she it's been without water. She drank basically the whole syringe, which is insane. So hopefully, you know, she gets back to her normal self. She got some water in her. She also ate a superworm. Look how cute she is. Like how, I don't know how people mistreat animals like this. Like it's, I, I don't get it. Like it's such a beautiful animal, beautiful colors beautiful eyes and it's they're super easy to take care of um, I wouldn't say super easy but once you get the hang of it they're pretty straightforward so if you're owning a reptile or you're getting a reptile be sure that you're ready for that commitment for that you know 10 plus year commitment um, and that way your reptile is not suffering but Right now, this girl definitely looks like she is happy. All that water and all that nutrients from the superworm is definitely gonna lift up her spirit. So we're gonna see a huge bounce back from this leopard gecko. In the comment section down below, put the leopard emoji, you know, I believe there's a leopard emoji, and just spam the comment sections down below because, you know, with comments and likes, I know it does get a little bit cliche with, you know, us YouTubers saying spam the comment section, but it definitely does help out the video, which helps out the channel, which helps me out to be able to do things like this and rescue animals. And, um, you know, I definitely want to push in that direction. And if it isn't for the fundings of this channel, 
You know, unfortunately, sometimes I cannot do the things that I wish I can do, which right now I'm really grateful on how this channel is growing. You know, everything that I'm making is going back to my animals and back to other animals. So I really hope that in the next couple of months we could, you know, make a difference and rescue some animals that are in need. But right now, this beautiful creature <laughs> looks like she's done drinking. Oh no, she's not. But definitely, <laughs> is uh, it's a blessing to be in the position to help out animals. So, you know, hopefully we could get her back into help and bounce her back. Cause look at her, she's just stunning. Like I really just like how she looks. So in the comment section down below, just let me know what you guys think I should name her. She's just honestly, beautiful it makes me want <laughs> leopard geckos even more now but with her i'm thankful to be able to help her out so now what i'm going to be doing is putting her back inside of the enclosure and basically call it a day she already had a rough day it already looks like she had a rough life but i could already see you know a little bit of a difference she's not as stressed out she's more focused on trying to drink water so i don't want to overdo it and give her too much but I do want to get her back and get her system back into that routine of having water. But what I'm going to be doing throughout the day is basically going inside of her enclosure and seeing if she wants water as well as giving her a water dish, a humid hide and all of those things that leopard geckos need. That way, you know, she's good to go. And then the feeding and the whole entire taking care of her and uh, begins, which I don't even know when was the last time she had calcium or let alone vitamins. So, you know, right now I'm just trying to give her food and water and then I'm going to start doing those other things as well immediately. So in the comment section down below, show the love as well as like the video if you like this video. But for now, that is it for this video. I really just wanted to showcase this beautiful creature that I picked up and trying to rescue and help and do the right thing. So if you do see an animal out there that is in need of help, if you're not in the position to help, you know, put it in good homes and, and try to do the right thing because these animals are just, you know, they're in our hands to take care of them. And we brought them into captivity and we're trying our best to, you know, um, give them good homes. But unfortunately, some people just seems like they don't care anymore about animals and that just makes me sad. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, learned a thing or two, but for now, I'm Lord of Lion. Look at her pose, like, who do you think you are? Are you thinking you're like the star of the show? Like, chill, like this looks like a thumbnail. God damn, girl, like you're like a model. <laughs> but for now, that is it for this video. I'm Lord of Lion, keep the blood pumping, and I'll see you next in my next video. Peace. You gotta hit that notification. Hit that notification. Hit that notification button, baby. You gotta hit that notification. Hit that notification. Hit that notification.